What's the deal folks? Welcome to Device Overdose. I will be hosting for Todd. As for today's episode, we will be taking a fast look at the Highlander Pro Electric Scooter by Hover One. I will be taking a look at the design. I will check out the features. I will take the scooter out back for a ride. So let's keep it moving into the video. Are you tired of walking back and forth to the store? Yes, you probably are. Well maybe you should check out this electric scooter. It might be the perfect solution for your short distance commute. The Highlander Pro is equipped with most of the features electric scooter riders have become familiar with. Like over 200 pounds of carrying capacity, decent speed, good range, LED displays, and of course, cruise control. The scooter has a folding design. The folding lock mechanism has a secure connection to the scooter's frame. And of course, the handlebars and the electronic control panel, will have to be connected and mounted to the steering column. Bolting the handlebars down to the steering column was a pain in the ass. I don't know if the screws are too big, or if the holes are too small. But, great day in the damn morning. That was a struggle. And yes, the holes are lined up perfectly. Anyway, let's keep it moving. The battery is a removable cell that locks into the steering column using this key. The scooter has a 37 volt, 10 amp hour lithium ion cell. Charge time is 5 to 6 hours. The electric scooter like the electric bike, has come a long way. And when it comes to specs and design, the Highlander Pro appears to be targeting the average commuter. Alright, let's keep it moving. On the handlebars, the scooter has a left-handed rear disc brake. And next to that, you have a small but useful bell. And next to that, you have the digital LED display. The display gives you access to your system's info like the speedometer, the temperature, and alarm icons, the mode icon, and the battery info. Next, moving over to the right handlebar, you have the throttle control. You have the power button. And right above that, you have the light on-off button. The Highlander Pro has three different speed modes. So, when you power on the device, by default, the scooter will be set to beginner mode. Beginner mode will top out at 8 miles per hour. Next you have medium mode. Medium mode will get up to 12 miles per hour. And finally, we have sport mode. Hover One has claimed that the top speed in sport mode is 18 miles per hour. But keep watching the video for more information about top speed and range. Okay, let's keep it moving. The kickstand is welded to the lower left side of the scooter. The kickstand is very reliable, so no issues there. The Hover One team were kind enough to bless us with some basic tools that will get you started. Inside of this bag you have a hex wrench, and some hex screws, and the security key. You also get an air pump, and that is because the tires are pneumatic. The charger is nice and compact. You can drop it in your bag, you can even put it in your pocket. Next, you have the user manual and the quick start guide. The user manual points out several warnings. The manual also provides safety tips for users to follow while operating the device. And we as the end users should really be aware of these safety tips. Alright, let's bounce up out of here and take the scooter out back for a ride. Check it out folks, here we have a nice ass device. The Highlander Pro has a very rigid, high quality build. The steering column appears to be anodized aluminum. The mostly black metal looks really fresh. The 10 inch pneumatic tires are going to give you a smooth ass ride. The Highlander Pro weighs 32 pounds. The scooter can support up to 264 pounds. Some of Hover One's scooters support an additional hidden menu. But this is not the case with the Highlander Pro. What you see, is what you get. Next we'll watch our rider, mount the scooter, in dramatic fashion. That, was kind of fresh. Okay, let's keep it moving. The front hub is a 350 watt brushless motor. The motor is as powerful as you would expect a 350 watt electric engine to be. However, in sport mode the device can be a bit punchy with torque, so be careful. Hover One claims the device can travel up to 18 miles on a single charge, at speeds up to 18 miles per hour. And of course, this all depends on the terrain and your weight. We were able to get 9 miles on a single charge, at 15 miles per hour. And for me that's more than enough range. You will not be breaking any speed records. But 15 miles per hour is nothing to play with. And you definitely wouldn't want to take a spill at that speed. Also, my stunt rider only weighs about 150 pounds. So yeah, could this be a 3 mile per hour exaggeration? I don't know. If you own a Hover One Highlander Pro, what's your maximum speed? Let me know in the comments section. The device can also be used for recreation. But, the scooter is not a toy. And, always wear protective headgear. The rider in this video decided not to wear protective gear for video purposes. Okay, let's keep it moving. The Highlander Pro is perfectly suited for urban life. 
The convenient collapsing feature, coupled with the manageable 32-pound weight, allows you to carry the scooter on most public transportation systems. Also, I've gotta walk six long-ass blocks to get to work, after I get off the train. And this is where having a scooter like the Highlander comes in clutch. So I do most of my riding during the daytime. However, you can enjoy riding at night. The scooter, is equipped with a bright headlight. You also have a brake-activated taillight. But, for some reason the device does not have any reflectors. Next, I'll show you how to activate cruise control. Okay, the scooter uses kick to start. Once you are at the desired speed, hold the throttle down for 5 seconds. A beep will notify you when cruise control is activated. To disable cruise control, simply squeeze the brake, or press down on the throttle. Alright, let's keep it moving. According to the owner's manual, the Highlander Pro does not have a regenerative braking system. Also, if the device sustains a continuous high discharge of current, the motor will power off after 15 seconds. But, that type of power consumption would be the result of carrying a really heavy load. Or, by riding up a steep hill for a prolonged period of time. However, there are variances within each motor type, and, a 350 watt motor should be able to handle inclines up to 10 degrees. Alright, after enjoying a dope ass reside, I got back to the crib and I suddenly realized, that I had a flat ass tire. After having a minor conniption, and bark in expletives at inanimate objects, I decided to redirect my anger towards the Hover 1 team. And that's because, I've only had this scooter for a few days, and already I'm dealing with a flat tire. In my opinion, I think a scooter with pneumatic tires should definitely have some sort of anti-puncture tire, or tire lining. I can say more, but I'll leave it at that. The device will cost you 450 green stamps. The Hover 1 delivers a buttery smooth ride on an even surface. And, the device will deliver a solid 15 miles per hour. But the flat tire issue adds a level of maintenance. And I stopped dealing with flat tires years ago. So, the pneumatic tires are a deal breaker for me. Also, the device did fall a little short on the listed range, and speed. But, overall the scooter is a dope device. But hold up, check this out, the last time I checked Amazon and the Hover1.com website, the device was sold out. However, I did find a few sites that have the Highlander Pro in stock. Links are in the description. So, we have come to the end of the Highlander Pro electric scooter review. If any of this information was useful, bless the like button, bless the subscription tab, and bless the notification bell. It was cool holding it down for your boy Ty. He's making some changes to the channel, in an effort to put out more content on a regular basis. Thanks for being a subscriber, and thanks to the new subscribers. Hold it down. I'll catch y'all on the rebound.